General Motors was kind of a leader in the plug-in hybrid space when they introduced the Volt. They discontinued it in 2019. Here's a Chevy Blazer EV. This was the one that just got crucified on its first car reviews. It wasn't that it was dysfunctional as an EV. It was dysfunctional as an automobile, period. Buick dealers have never had any EVs to sell in the U.S., even though they've had four to sell in China. Hi, I'm David from EV World News. I'm here in studio today with my co-host engineer, Mike Herzog. How's it going, Mike? Doing great, David. All right, if you want to talk about General Motors. General Motors was kind of a leader in the plug-in hybrid space when they introduced the Volt. Really, nobody else had anything that could really compete with it. It was the Prius Prime was basically based on the Volt. It was to make up for, you know, 37 to 50, depending on which year you got 37 to 50 mile range on the battery and then on gas, it gets like 40 miles per gallon. They discontinued it in 2019 because they didn't think it was going anywhere. Well, now if they had them, they'd be selling hundreds of thousands. And, you know, it just seems like they're just not created picking what they're going to do. Now, here's a Chevy Blazer EV. This was the one that just got crucified on its first car reviews because what happened was they kept, they delivered cars that had all kinds of problems to people to review them. And like one of the reviews had like 17 things broken on the car. It wasn't that it was dysfunctional as an EV. It was dysfunctional as an automobile, period. Just as a plain old automobile in the world, there are basic things like I expect any car to do fit. Right. And it just, the thing was like really half-ass done and it never should have went anywhere the way it went. But suddenly all of the auto executives are big on the term plug-in hybrid. Mary Barra said earlier this year their company expects to begin offering plug-in hybrid models to cope with disappointing sales of electric cars because they only offered one electric car, the Chevy Bolt, and they discontinued it. Now, they say that the Cadillac Lyric was slow out of the gate, but it has an unreal demand right now. The Blazer EV and Equinox EV were delayed. The Chevy Silverado EV was years away from production. Buick dealers have never had any EVs to sell in the U.S., even though they've had four to sell in China. And future Cadillac EVs, other than the Lyric, are still years away from production. So how GM could know there was a slowdown in EV sales is hard to figure. Because they basically, they've gotten rid of the Bolt. They don't have it. They, they don't have it. You know, th this argument is saying like, hey, if you had a, like a Chevy Malibu that is selling reasonably well and make it a plug-in hybrid using the same platform as the Volt, would have been great. There was even a Cadillac that came out on the Volt chassis. It was a two-door Cadillac. It was about $75,000. You can pick those up right now for about fifteen, dollars and then get the $4,000 tax credit on them. Wow. And they look nice. I mean, that, you're talking a $75,000 account. I don't know. What, what's the model? I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. It's like e ELR or something like that. I had never heard of until uh, you know, I started doing this show with Bill, and and we were, we were looking at, but this was $75,000 new. Now, the ones I've been looking at that were around 15 were 2014 models. This is a 16 model. Not an ugly Why car. 16? Cadillac put this out in 2016 and 2014. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. It is a nice looking car. I mean, that's, it looks like a Cadillac. Yeah. Heated that's... steering wheel, remote start, Bluetooth, navigation, Bose 10 speaker system, um, front wheel drive, but it's a plug in hybrid. 31 city, 33 highway. I think it only has a 37 or 38 mile battery. It's plenty. That's plenty for the city. I mean, does that look any different than any other nice looking Cadillac? No, that's, I mean, it looks distinctly Cadillac. I've never seen one of these advertised anything, but you know, you could pick this up $25,000. You took $4,000 rebate on there. And you're at 21 grand, 40,000 miles on the damn car. Yeah. And, you know, if you have solar like me, you know, you got your first 30 miles basically for about not even one cent a mile to drive that. So that's just uh, interesting to see. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.